the flat is still teeming with all of George's stuff. We need to get rid of every single trace of him before Kathleen Angel gets back. I'm so glad that I went and checked. I can't believe you nearly threw out my beautiful ornament. I mean, what on earth makes you think that this was George's? Oh, don't even mention his name. I tell you, he's lucky I didn't get my hands on him first. I wouldn't blame John Paul if he did snap and bump his boyfriend off. Hey, our John Paul has not got a violent bone in his body, and it won't be long before the police realise that. Still, when I think of the horror that evil man inflicted upon him, I hay fever, of course. Come on, we'll get you upstairs and get you lied down. I can't stand seeing Anna upset. It's proper disturbing. I know. It's like Scrooge when he has a meltdown in that film. You know, when the ghost of Christmas future shows him his grave. Wait, you don't think George's ghost is haunting the dog, do you? No. Of course the dog, don't be silly. Well, just to be safe, that's the last of George's possessions. Best get rid before Nana starts sage smudging everywhere. Yeah, well, Nana purging the place might not be such a bad idea in case George hasn't passed on to the other side. Uh, hurry up and get rid. My yoga mat's calling. Yeah, well, you brought it in. No, I need to cleanse my chakras. Going through all George's stuff has really spooked my solar plexus. Namaste. Namaste. What are you doing? I'm trying to unlock it so I can flog it. With a key? Well, I'm hardly going to use my hands, am I? And also, I don't want to ruin these bad boys. You do know unlocking a tablet doesn't actually mean unlocking it. It means unlocking the settings so it can work on any carrier. So why don't you tell me that, then? I've always wanted to give it a go ever since my dad showed me how. See? I knew that I had come to the perfect person. You want to sell it to me? Oh, come on, Lib. Look, you'd really be doing me a favour. See, our Kathleen is coming back from Spain to see our Teresa. I don't want George's bad vibes haunting the place. The least John Paul's psycho ex can do is pay for his legal bills, if I can flog this. Oh, come on. Look, you know I'm a very, very nice person. I'll even give you discounts. Starting at bidding, £300. I'll take it off your hands. Are you serious? Yeah, I spilled coffee on mine this morning reading the lawyer portal. <laughs> I don't usually buy things secondhand, but I guess I'm doing my bit for the planet. Is it a lot? Oh, look, please, Lib. Look, a solicitor is buying George's tablet. I mean, this has got to be fate. There's 50 quid in it for you. Think of it as upcycling. Go on, then. Who knows what I might find on it? Well, at least I've earned my way into the good place now. Verity Hutchinson, eco-warrior. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for this. Just stay away from coffee, eh? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Evidence applicable to an ongoing investigation in a desperate bid to get rid of it. Smart one. I've never seen that video in my life. Do you realise it's my duty to report this to the police? No, I mean, it's going to make John Paul look bad. Well, I don't see George ranting and raving in this video, do you? Come on, you know him. You know he's not a violent person. But the police will. They don't. Can we just keep this between us, please? It's a matter of professional integrity. I'd risk my reputation if I didn't follow the right course of action. I'm sorry, Goldie. But you've just put the final nail in this coffin. Nothing more to oh, go with me. Why? 
Don't tell me I've messed the settings up trying to unlock the thing. Is that George's voice at the end there? If I tell you, you are sworn to secrecy, OK? Liberty, this is highly confidential. I might have to draft out a non-disclosure agreement. Verity, I assure you, there is nothing more behind me than a girl's help promise. I have found an undeleted video on this tablet. And now that the tablet technically belongs to me and I work for the same law firm that's representing John Paul... He's here, clear as day, being the aggressor in the relationship. George was obviously worried enough about John Paul's temper that he had to record it as evidence. Evidence of what, exactly? Domestic abuse. John Paul? An abuser? And that doesn't make sense. I mean, Liberty, I know what I saw. I'm not disputing that. I just mean, from what Sienna's told me about John Paul, he seems like the last person to raise a fist. That's what I thought. But sometimes it's the quiet ones that you have to watch out for. They can be the most insidious of abusers. Does Goldie know about the video? Yep. And what has she said? She says that John Paul was drunk. And that it's best to keep it between us. And that the police don't know him as well as we do. You have to trust your gut. If you think John Paul's one of the good guys, you pretend you didn't see it. I wish I could. But it's a matter of professional integrity. I'd be risking my own reputation if I didn't follow the correct course of action. I have to go to the police.